Okay, hi everyone, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain. It's been so long since I've done a video, I'm really, really sorry. So we're going to get straight into one now. So this is just a simple, going to be a simple flip cup with our cell enhancer drops, so the Boom Booster drops. This canvas is 20 by, or 25 by 25 centimetres. This is actually a large um, dish, but I like to just use whatever I've got around and reuse items. So it's got a wide base. So what I am going to do is I'm actually going to cross over some of my colours and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm actually going to do it like that, if that makes sense. And then when I've got that, actually, no one, because I don't want to have too much in there. And then I'm going to add oh, two drops. And then I'm going to my next colours. I've got my camera right above um, my canvas, of course, and I'm just hoping that it doesn't... Um, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? It's interfering a little bit with me getting my stuff into the cup, so just bear with me. And this I've been hanging out to use. Um, this is our new limited edition dark violet. Oh, So, oh, that was a bit... I didn't put the cap on properly there, did I? So I might actually have a few little dry clumps come through there. I'll keep an eye out for it. All right. And then... Oh, shiver me timbers. I forgot to add a bit of white in there. So I'm just going to add a little drizzle. I get quite distracted and forget to put my um, nozzles down and you can see I'm going to pay for it in a minute because this, oops, I rocked the camera. Um, okay, this colour is a bespoke boom bar colour and it's number two, which is actually uh, a gate gold However you want to say it, some say Argate. I have said Argate in the past, actually. Who am I kidding? Okay. I just thought that might have... Oh, had a bit of a fun pop, so we'll see what happens. Um, that's a lot of product. I hope I haven't gone too nuts. I'm just going to pop down... This is our Pandaria Pink. If you could see me, honestly, I'm crouching down. I'm squatting and trying to pour boom colours into a cup. Oh, my goodness. Okay, if only you could see me now. Isn't technology wonderful? Because you don't. <laughs> all right. Okay, I've just checked that I've put all my nozzles down on my bottles. All right. I'm not going to mix that, am I? No. I'm not going to because I put the Boom Booster drops in. If I gave that a mix now, it would actually disperse my Boom Booster drops and um, I would get a lot more smaller cells. So I'm just going to leave it. Actually, what I will do, though, is I'm going to just pop down. Um, I do not, I do not want Boom Booster drops to be the first thing that comes into contact with my canvas. If I do, it will actually um, repel. So you know how you get, uh, for those that work with resin, you know how you get that divoting happening, that repelling? That's what I would end up having. So I'm just going to spread that around a little bit. And I'll pop my cup into that. Please don't knock my hand. There we go. So we'll give that a bit of time. And I'll just add a little bit more white around this edge. Oops, there's a hair. Okay. Now, Boom is quite thick. 
And so for many, this process, if they haven't used Boom before, it might be just seconds that you have to do it. I like to give it, you know, a little bit longer. I don't mean, you know, minutes, but just let it come down and work its way down. And so just slowly. So we'll see how we're going. Oh, good day. Eh? Oh, look at that. Oh, I should probably, I've got other lights. I should turn them on. I might just do that. So if the light changes, I'm... Oh, no, now I've cast a big shadow. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Now my phone is creating a, a big shadow. Um, okay, you live and you learn. You know what? It's just going to have to stay there and... Just look at this part. I am sorry. What's happening is I've, um, I'm literally working at home on the kitchen bench and yeah. Okay. So let's just get these colors moving around. I'll pause it quickly so I don't run out, but all I'm going to do now is tilt. Okay, I'm back. So I tilted that out just quickly. I've still got a um, ton of bubbles and stuff in there. Um, I can't find my torch. Okay, so I can't find my torch. So normally I would give that a torch if I wanted that um, to speed that process up of the cell uh, the boom booster drops however what that does it will actually add um a lot more smaller cells as well so what i might do is not do that i'm going to slam slam i'm going to tap my canvas on the bench a couple of times to pop these bubbles and then i will actually um oh my gosh i get distracted by that can i just show you that Isn't that just, oh, I hope it's showing up properly in the camera because that looks amazing. And the colours, okay, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, yes, so I'm actually going to leave that to rest um, just for, you know, five, ten minutes and let the Boom Booster drops um, work without torching, okay? And you can see we're getting a few, so you'll see the evidence when I come back. Here's a little bit of progress. This is after about two, three minutes. Okay, progress. This is about five, six minutes afterwards. Okay, so here it is. Now, what I did do, because it didn't seem to be doing much, and I was like, wow, it's surprising. But different colour combinations do play um, a part in, in the results as well. So... But for me personally, um, I was like, oh, I'm not really happy with this. So some of these cells I just love. And I'm loving the little natural pearl cells that are coming up because of the Stelling Wax White in there. But overall, I well, I just hate that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's it's displaced. It's spread out. It's not nice at all. So... Um, that could have happened for a number of reasons. It could be that there's just too much product there still. Lots of reasons. So in a way, what I'm going to do is, um, I thought I'll do a balloon dip, a balloon kiss, because that just fixes cells that I, I that you don't like, and it actually works great. I don't have any balloons. So I'm going to use a glove. Um, nothing's gone according to plan. My torch is gone. It's missing. That's why I couldn't torch. It's just been uh, a bit of a nightmare, actually. Okay, so now no balloons, um, but I do have a glove. But I've only ever used a glove once or twice before, so this is just killing me. I'm trying to hold in the fingers. I'm trying to flow it and keep the air in there. So this could be a right mess, but do you know what? 
you know that saying, shit happens. Oh, no, don't go down again, Mr. Bl Glove. Glove man. Oh, he has. Okay, hang on. One more try. I'm going to give it one more shot. <laughs> okay, before he deflates, let's just get something happening, shall we? Something, something. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Oh my lord, that's not what I was planning on. Oh, do you know what? I don't even have paper towel here today. Everything's just turning out to be a... Let me see if I can... Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. Lord knows how. All right. Do you know what? I'm just going to use my fingers. Let me see what's going on here. So the reason this looks really off is because, first of all, we don't have a centre point. So having a centre point always fixes most things if you're going for an abstract kind of bloom thing. So let's just get a centre point happening. Get some nice swishy bits in there. Okay. Um, I need some more down here. So now I might just let me see if the finger will do it. <laughs> the 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 glove finger okay so that's looking a little bit prettier maybe I can use this canvas um, to come back and do some highlights once it's dry that's what it's starting to look like um, I'll just pause this while I clean my glove okay I found a balloon all right so let's just fix this up now Don't worry, I know I've messed that up again, but we're going to bring it back into the centre so it doesn't matter. And it's going to be so pretty. Because of these beautiful colours we're bringing into it now. Um, I need to get some more... Oh, I need to get some fix up here, but if you can see that edge, I don't know if you can see it. I'm worried there's not quite enough product there. So I might actually just add a tiny bit of white on the tip of my balloon. Um, and I'll add... I'm adding a little bit more of that um, agate gold, agate gold, whatever you want to call it, and a dot of pandaria pink. So I'll show you what I've done. Okay, and then I just blow it around on the balloon to get it so that it's blended a little bit. And I'm just going to hold it above here. So this is how you can fix it when it goes wrong. Oh, look at that shadow. I, I'm so sorry. All right, I'm going to touch down a little bit in the centre first. Oh my goodness, this is just turning out worse and worse. Okay. What is going on there? did I do? I really don't know. Okay. Um, do you know what? I'm going to come back to that. I'm just, I don't, oof. okay. Um, there's a really blank area here and there's this corner here that I don't like, but I always tend to go and do the corners first because the edges and the corners tend to lose their product first. So let's just fix that up. 
I'm going to do this a little bit first, just some balloon rolls. And then I'm just going to do a kiss. That's actually quite pretty. This has dragged a bit and so made it. Let's just do that. Um, same as there, actually. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, no, I'm not happy with this little area here, so I'm just going to put a little bit down directly onto the canvas. Dab it around a bit and then there we go. That's a bit better. So that'll be a nice little bloom that's still looking a bit wacky. Okay, I might just have to go over that cell. I've lost my centre, so I'll just do it again. Take off the excess. There we go. So now in my head, I'm envisioning me um, highlighting this and going around with my um, white Posca pen. So I'm actually, um, some of this is quite ugly but I can see I can envision what it's going to look like once it's done so um, yeah okay so maybe we just need a little swoosh down here that's pretty isn't it oh look at that I wonder if you guys can see how that's showing out. So I just looked in the camera and this looks really blue, but it's actually green that's just come through with my little smush. And there's a lot of the Argate gold in it. So it's got a color shift, but you won't be able to see that maybe until it's dry. Um, now, that's actually quite cute. Now, I'm kind of really happy with that. I love this layering that we've got going on there. And I know I'm going to highlight sections with the Posca pen. Um, where should I go? What's not looking great? See, over here in this corner could do with something, but then I'm going to have to balance it out somewhere else. I don't know I'm really kind of stuck I might just do a little another little roll this way um, let me see maybe we need to bring one this way. Oops, not like that, Cass. Oh, what have I done? Okay. Now I am going to do another there okay I'm going to leave it like that and leave it to dry and you guys will get to see the the embellishing that I do once I've added it of course so okay oh, I'll turn that on. 